Hello? Oh, oh, that was nice. Yeah? Yeah, that was perfect. Oh my gosh. That's actually really cool. So it's let's just... crazy. Oh, you're going to be on the line. No, you're not. Oh my goodness. Vehicle hold feature unavailable. Keep brake pedal pressed. Whoa, the whole car broke. Well, we broke the whole car. That was so fun. Oh, it'll be back. When? This video is brought to you by Joa, maker of premium Tesla and vehicle accessories. Claim your discount by using the link in the description below. What is going on, everybody? Welcome. That was weird. <laughs> like a delay in sitting autopilot. To the latest FSD beta update 12.3.2.1. Here with Stephanie. Well. And this is going to be super casual video. This update just dropped. It's going out to, I don't know, some people, a lot of people, a little people, I'm not sure, but it includes the new auto park for Vision. So if you have a USS list car, so no ultrasonic sensors, you haven't had auto park for a while, and we both just want to go try this out. So this is going to be kind of almost vloggy, just kind of fun, checking it out, getting Stephanie's opinion. Go, what do you think? That's great. Holy crap, that was amazing. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> In the past, that would have been slamming on the brakes and the steering wheel would have been going crazy. I cannot believe how good that was. Uh, we'll be jumping around, cutting around. It's just kind of a first look at this FSD update. You're no, gonna avoid the puddle? No, no. You don't want me to hit it? All right, I'll just. I don't want you to hit the puddle. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, just a first look at this FSD update and then going into downtown and checking out the new parking feature because uh, we just really want to test that out. So let's see how this left turn does. I did this left turn in the snow. Not, oh, we just hit some puddles. I'm sorry. That's oh, no, fine. Um, it's already dirty. Yep. That's great. Okay, cool. That was I great. I liked how it turns so quickly. It didn't like stop and then, you know. That's true. Yeah, they just flew right through there. Uh, I'm just curious. Yeah, so it's definitely. Like sees that there's something. Wow. Okay, I'm okay with that. That was actually really cool. I'm like surprised that that happened. I'm, I feel like I'm like, is this real life? <laughs> Honestly. You want to see how it does on this turn? Bunny. Oh, yeah, bunny. FSD tried to destroy that bunny for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so we stopped at the stop sign, which is not natural. You would go up to here so you could see. Yeah. And this is hard. It's really hard to see to the left. Okay, there's nobody there. I can see now. This is, like, actually a good spot to stop. But now you got to go. It's not confident at all. It's just not going. Nope. Nobody's there, so I'm just leaving it. Did it finally go? Yeah, I didn't touch okay. anything. And then how do you feel about the takeoff? Takeoff was great, but everything leading up to it was not. What do you think about this speed? It's good. That's actually amazing. I, I'm shocked that it's not 47 already. <laughs> so there's a cool little trick. If you go in the settings here, under autopilot, we have obviously the automatic set speed offset turned on. If you turn that off, you can see what beta has set its own little personal max. So if we turn this off, it has a max of 80 right now. That doesn't mean it's gonna go 80. That just means it has kind of told itself that's the most we'll go. Let's figure out the right speed below that. But we will, of course, keep that on for this drive so the car can make its own decisions. Although I found, as you just saw, if you turn that off and set the speed to something, it still won't listen to you. It'll still go slower, which, I know that annoys you sometimes, right? It annoys me a lot, yeah. So this left turn never ever worked besides the first time I did it with version 12, which was last time. But I'm gonna let you comment on this one specifically. I already wanna close my eyes because there's cars over there. I just, I just don't even wanna watch it, honestly. All right. <laughs> yeah, definitely should not have waited for that person. Nope. I just didn't even want to look at him because he was probably angry. Yeah, I didn't see him, so... Yeah, that was our right of way. We arrived at the stop line first, but again, that stop line's faded, so there's supposed to be a line painted there, but it's gone. Um, overall, it's still way better than what the car used to do, and it was nice that when he did finally go, the car took off. I felt also like it was making its complete stop like it's legally supposed to which took a long time. And then the truck, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but it looked like the truck started to move forward a little bit. This car started to move forward a little bit, but it saw that the truck was moving forward. So to be safe, it waited, Yeah. let the truck go and then took off. That's it, it, kind of what. Yeah, it did seem like that. And I don't think he ever actually stopped. So here's the 35. It changes before you get there. I noticed that. Yeah. 
and this is yeah i mean this is really like local this feels like how any person would be driving this road it's it's crazy how yeah it's so much less like robotic and like i mean just with version 11 you knew exactly how it was going to behave and with version 12 you're like what like is it gonna do this here or like it's like different every time it like reads the situation which is like exciting and fun but a little for me a little like what's gonna happen but right. i don't know i feel like i like, i already trust it a little more so like, like you so can now it's really speeding yeah this lot. is too much yeah like, I, I would definitely not go this fast and I, I don't think you should because all right i'll tap it we'll disengage there speeding way too much all right, a couple little turns here. Left, right, right. We'll see how the car does. I have so many videos to edit. <laughs> That's partially why this is gonna be just kind of quick and thrown together. Why does it do this? What? What's it doing? That was very version 11, like, <laughs> let's be real. Yeah, that was bad, but I'm but why? But why is it going around? Oh, I don't know. This is how the map data has been forever. Oh, okay. And I actually really like it because it gives it more to do. Um, I have no idea why it does this. Yeah, this is how it was doing this last time, too. I don't, there's absolutely nothing around. I don't know why it would hesitate there at all. After hitting zero, it should just blast off. I'm trying to let you. I mean, that was fine. Okay. Uh, it's, I mean, it was stopped for a while, but I mean, I would rather it be more careful than not careful enough. Oh, don't turn left. What was that? That was weird. <laughs> that was. Oh, here's some awkwardness for you. Here we go. Okay, no, that's. Ooh. That was good. Oh, who? The that... preemptive move. That was good. Why was it good? Because it didn't stop unnecessarily long like it was ready to go and it's like it almost started like creeping forward a tiny bit even as that car was going so you knew it was about to go yeah it shows that intention of like yep it's my turn everybody like a, like a person right that's yeah. that's so important to start rolling your tires to kind of show everyone yeah i know i'm paying attention i'm gonna go so people around you behind you or you know at other stop signs are not like, is this guy paying attention? Is he going to go? Am I going to go? It's just crazy how much communication is involved with driving. Yeah. Like, all the little things that you do that you don't normally think about until you're in this situation. <laughs> and you're, like, critiquing it. All right, blinking yellow. Oh, oh that was nice. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, that was perfect. Oh, because, like, it's one of those situations where, like, oh, if you wait too long, then there's cars that are going to be there and you wasted all that time. That was yeah. great. That was sweet. Let's try out some parking spots here. It's dimly lit. Any human would be able to park in these parking spaces, but it's not the perfect ideal conditions. So let's see how this works. We are driving here. The car's not giving me... Oh, there it is. It pops right up. Oh my gosh. That's actually really cool. So That's let's just... Crazy. Can I pick this one? Oh yeah. So you can pick... How far away? Oh my goodness. Will it park all the way over there? Let's try it. So that actually is the last one in the row. Let's see what it does if I pick that far away one. Is it going to drive... I expand that. There we go. Auto park in progress. Press brake to pause. Oh, so it's picking the second to last space here. Wow. I can't believe it let me pick a space that was that far away. This is... It, it's a little slow. Yeah. And obviously I picked a spot that was really far away, so that's kind of weird. But in two moves, it didn't have to do a three three mover like it used to there you go oh my gosh would you use that yes let's let's try it not having it drive halfway across the parking lot first do you mind hopping out and taking a picture of how it did just because yeah. all my cameras are occupied thank you you know like the most stressful part of the driver driver's test is the parking yeah that's so, a good like, point by the time our kids have to take that test if they even have to <laughs> Be like, okay, can you push the right button? Yeah, right. Oh, good, your car parked itself. All right, Stephanie's going to give it a try now. It. Oh, my goodness, it's such a crowded parking lot. Where <laughs> are we going to park? Oh, look at that. Here, let me expand the visual for them. Mm, right there. Is that close enough? Yeah, well, it doesn't like that one anymore. Interesting. Oh, 
Boop. Ready. <laughs> Let's go. Get it fast. All right, cool. It's going to go to that one. It's always going to back in. So why doesn't it pull forward? Because backing in is easier for it? Uh, I, I don't know. Probably, well, probably because there's no bumper camera. Like front bumper camera. There's a uh, blind spot in front of the car. So that would be interesting with the Cybertruck. Oh my gosh, Cybertruck self-parking? I need that. Yeah, <laughs> everybody <laughs> needs that. Oh, you're going to be on the line. No, you're not. Oh my goodness. Oh, is it going to be crooked? No. Wow. How? Wow. I didn't think I'd be able to fix that. That is... I mean, you can see it just from the visual. That's right in the middle of the spot. I love this. That's crazy. I love this. <laughs> Let's do one more. I'll do ten. Oh, you want to... <laughs> you like it that much? Only because I want you to pick, like, its suggested spot. Oh, does it give you one? Yeah. Yeah, so go ahead. Get started. Um, because both times, I picked one that was really far away, and then you picked one that was, like, medium far away. But even with that, I feel like it was so pretty quick. Like this... That's my assumption, is that's kind of suggested. Bring vehicle to a complete stop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I now... I feel like after this one, we should do one and you should time it. I want to see oh, like how sure. many seconds it takes. Right, so this mm -hmm. one is a good example of it didn't have to travel across to go pick the spot we told it. Right. But I love that you have the option yeah. that you can see a spot and be like, oh, I would like that one over there. Wow, this is really impressive. And again, it looks like it's going to screw it up, but look at it fix it. It's also cute to me how it, like, picks one. It's like, well, I like this one, but... <laughs> so this one is not perfectly in the middle. We're slightly to the side. I don't... Oh. Auto park aborted. Did you touch the brake? No. No? Oh, interesting. Vehicle hold feature unavailable. Keep brake pedal pressed. Whoa! The whole car broke. Drama. It's in park. I don't... Can you put it in drive? What does it say? What the heck? The whole car is broken. <laughs> You're being a little dramatic. Well, you don't have hold anymore. Can you? Do you mind doing a scroll wheel reset really quick? I'm gonna put it in part yeah, first. It's, fine. it's probably just a little bug, right? <laughs> a little bug. Use your brake, or your car's gonna roll away. <laughs> it's, that's what it that's, says. Okay, well, in all other cars, <laughs> that is what is what happens. Like it's yeah. not that crazy to hold the brake down when you want to stop. <laughs> Jeez, Chris. No, it's that error is still there. We found a bug in the latest update. Look out. All right, let's just keep trying. Um, okay. Well, let's see if it'll do it again. Yeah, let's see. So, yeah, this was its first not perfect. Right. Like, but if do, you, I, do you still think it's an acceptable park job, though? If I didn't have a kid behind me that had to oh. open that door, if there's nobody parked, like if it's a pretty empty parking lot, sure. But yeah, Good point. It is in the lines, but it's not perfectly in the middle. Right. It's not giving you any options anymore. We broke the whole car. But that was so fun. Well, it'll be back. When? I don't know. We might have to reinstall this update even. Can you even turn on FSD or anything? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, that was a great, that was a great update. <laughs> I guess we're done. Bye, guys. <laughs> All right, so we switched profiles to drive back home. And now everything's working. I have no idea. So if it doesn't work for you, switch profiles. The other thing is get out of the car, let it fall asleep for 15 minutes and then come back. That usually fixes those kind of things, but that was super strange. Uh, it doesn't seem to detect handicapped parking spots. This first one here is handicapped. I think that one. So... Why is it like crooked? <laughs> yeah, that spot. Oh, that's the dashed lines. So it's getting confused. That's not a parking spot. Those are the dashed lines next to the uh. handicapped spot. And then this is the handicapped spot. So it doesn't detect handicapped spots yet, even though... It's painted there. The paint's pretty faded, but it's obvious to me, a human, that it's handicapped. Right. So we don't need to test that, but let's see. Let's park next to this van over here. So you can't go too fast or they all disappear. Looks like to be about seven. Seven was that's, when it came here. That's pretty good. All right, so it obviously is showing a spot on both sides of this van, although this is not a parking spot. This is. Let's try it out. Got the turn signal. Wait. Oh, that is a parking spot over there. The car knew better than me. That's great. It's so faded. Yeah, that's... Wait. Maybe it's not a parking spot. No, I think that's dirt. Oh. I think it used to be a parking spot, and now it's not. Okay. Oh, this makes me nervous. It's I not, don't know it's why, though. not even close. I know. I don't know why. Here's the... Oh, a little bit. Well, I can't expand the visual. The camera's up, but there's the van visual. 
Oh, it is turning towards it. Holy moly. That's that's great. Yeah, it is. Right next to that van. <laughs> Visual looks awesome here. But we're in park. So it did perfectly center itself. But, but the van is not in the parking spot the right way. Like it's moved right. over really far. So it, you would have a really hard time opening your yes. door. So it parked very close to the van, but it's centered in the parking spot. So. But I would not expect it to be garbage. Like... <laughs> Total no, well, unusable. Then you would have to move over more this way. And then if someone parked next to you on this side, you'd have the same issue. So it, I would rather it just be like, we're always going to center. Right. So just don't park next to somebody like this. All right, so really quickly, I just want to go through the roundabout. And we're in the parking spot. This is where it parked. And what's cool about this is you could do a drive from A to B, make it park itself, and because it backs in, then you can always start from the parking spot. So we turned it on, and now I've noticed it takes it a second to really get going. Watch it just not go at all now. Yeah, so it's not really comfortable moving out of this spot. So my whole idea is wrong. Never mind. All right, I'm going to push it. Just one little tap. It obviously sees the uh, the grass there. Okay, it just needed a little go ahead. That's not terrible. I mean, it would be cool if it would just go, but yeah, I've I have had it just go out of parking spots, but that time it didn't. Okay, this is not. <laughs> Can it escape? Let's see. <laughs> Wiggling. Oh, can we get out over here? It's gonna nope. look. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Trapped in a parking lot. Oh, it, this is gonna be it. It's gonna get to the road from here. I can see it now. Just really slowly. <laughs> Here's a parallel spot with no lines. And what I find funny is, wow, look at this visual. This looks ridiculous. That's so cool. Those are uh, pillars on the building on the left and light poles on the right. What I find funny about this is people immediately were commenting and saying, oh, but show it parking in between two cars instead of just in between the lines. And old auto park could only park in between two cars. It couldn't park in between the lines like what you're seeing now. So, you know, it can obviously park in between two cars as well, but that's pretty funny. That steering wheel? Yeah, this is uh Like, again, weird. to see this in a cyber truck would be nuts. Oh my gosh. Like, one with the steer by the, wire. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Is like it would be crazy. This is really impressive that it fixed itself that well in this parallel spot. It took it a minute and it was a little strange, but wow. That is very cool. Alright, let's try this roundabout and we'll be done. It was under a minute. It was like 40. Oh, you timed it. I forgot. Yeah, like 43 seconds. 43 <laughs> seconds for the parallel spot. You know, when you're sitting here just waiting, it feels like a long time, but that's that's fast. Enough. I would much rather wait 43 seconds than do it myself and it take me 10 minutes sure. and I hit somebody's bumper. All right, so now that we don't have a choice, I'm gonna get that out of here and we'll do just one full circle around the roundabout. That's the only option it has. Unfortunately, no one to contend with. Oh, that's a little slow. Sweet. That was good. Yeah, that was perfect. I was a little worried about that truck, but uh, Beta handled it great. What do you think? I thought it was great. I mean. All right, sweet. Yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. Do you have any final thoughts? I'm I'm just ex I'm really excited. This is this is really fun to use it on the daily. Yeah. All right. Bye bye. <laughs>